Hi everyone, I'm Alfred and welcome back to Morrowind. There we go. A little more centered now. Alright. So. The Telvanni are spread out all around here. The Redoran are clustered in here, and we've already spent a lot of time in here. So, where do we need to go but the biggest city, Vivek, naturally. Um, I played up to where I lost uh, the ability to save. It wasn't that far, so not big a deal. That's a you or actions precede you. I don't think that's right, fam. But I'm pretty stupid, so who knows. Give me two for Vec, thank you. A visitor. What may I do for you? Um, you may find me the way out, please. I'm getting lost very easily in here. Who designed this place? See, so yeah, if we just talk to this guy. What words do you have? For He's like, hey, that's that's bullshit, you can't do that. We don't have a bounty. But we can take his goodies. Can you trade me worth a damn? Hail, friend. Hail yourself? Oh yeah, accidental silver lining, but um Because when I was beating that guy in con <laughs> Oh cool. A hail and hearty welcome, friend. Ooh yeah. Can you train me? No. I love doing this, by the way. Like, the, the fact that it's a illegal thing to do. To wear this armor. Pleasure is all but also, um, so it's illegal to wear the armor. Against the rules, specifically. So it cracks me up to an extreme degree. That's all you have? Masera. It cracks me up to an extreme degree to just be like, to just start selling it all to everyone. There we go. Talk is free, what do you want? <laughs> I'll just leave him here, I think. I like the look of it. Someone creeping? Cause ew. You've got my ear. Let's hear it. I should have sold to you. Damn. <laughs> 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 Nothing but goodies. All right. Now, I believe Halalu has their own the arena, St. Olms, St. Delen, Rhetorin, Temple Temple, Ebonheart, Halalu, there it is. So I have this, I, I've had this stuff to make spaghetti like ready to go for like days now. And for whatever gosh forsaken reason, I cannot bring myself to make spaghetti. I don't know what the deal is. You know, you see, very rarely do you actually see people moving around the moving around the world like this. Do you think it's weird for everyone else to just see a guy? Hey, where am I? I'm in the red room. I'll come back here later. Believe you me, I love you guys. 
That's not collided properly. <laughs> How about this one? Oh, uh, oh well. <laughs> well, actually, let me see if I can't find a better way up. Because I might find one a little closer to the tip. Under sun and sky, I greet you warmly, Outlander. Can you tell me where Crassus Curio is? Splendid mansion atop the canton in Vivek. Elven Nations Corner Club. Yes, Outlander? What's of up, course. Dunmer? What may I do for and you? one other elf? Right, this party's lame, I'm bouncing. Walu Alchemist. Walu Pawnbroker. Weaponsmith. So yeah, Walu, seeing as that they are... No-name club. Splendid Mansion. I'm waiting. Go to hell. So yeah, Falu, because they are the mercantile boys, here we go, have a great deal in the way of money, training, and good loot. But you got to be in with them to be able to use it. There we go. Uh, I'm looking for Crassius. What is this about? Do so I if you look over it? here, we should see a book in question. Because there's something that really gets across who Crassius Curio is. And it's not the fact that his name is Crassius Curio. But if I can't find it, I will tell you. And I assume that Let's he needs no further introduction after it. He wrote The Lusty Argonian Maid. Wealth beyond measure. I'll come back to you in a sec. I've heard a lot about you. I just want to see if I can find the book so I can prove it. Not that it really needs proving, but like... Actually, it might be with him. Go ahead, stranger. Nice. Yes, I'm Crassius Kuro, but you can call me Uncle Crassius. Oh, yes, that it's my name, but it sounds like music when you say it. Um, I need to be Hortator. Hortator is a great war leader. Ancient edition, seldom invoked in modern times. You want to be Hortador? A pity. Orvas Dren does not want you to be Hortador. And very few counselors might be willing to rest Sir Dren's disapproval. But if you were to give me a small gift of 1,000 drakes, I might reconsider. So, he's willing to cut a deal. That's one of the things about Crassius. But you can see that he also has a little interest in us. Let's stall for time. Please, take your time, my little flower. What's a little time between intimate friends? Join House Slally. you got to be swift and agile. We value speech and barter. Uh, we place an exceptional value on property and its protection, thus the knowledge of security is essential. We avoid violence. You must know how to use light armor, short blades, and ranged weapons. So they're essentially the thieves, but they don't actually steal anything. They scam people, but that's completely different. Here's a recent edition of the Yellow Book of the Great House Lalu. It has the counselors in here. All right. Every one of Lalu's counselors must vote to join a Hortator, and the vote must be unanimous. Must be some situation requiring a war leader, of course, and a worthy candidate who can perform a duty. Um, same old, same old. Hortator is a champion who leads by inspiration. He challenges opposing houses in single combat. He goes on long, dangerous quests. He goes alone into the citadels of the enemy. He confronts the dangers when no one else in the house is strong enough or, or courageous enough to face. All 
All right. What a thoughtful gift. How did you know? Gold, it's just what I wanted. And it's time for your gift. And I have just what you want. In my formal capacity as counselor for House Lalu, I give you my vote for title of Hortator. Perhaps I can give you a little suggestion. I am sure you can persuade Dram Barrow to per support you if you can find him. Orvis Dren has Nevena Ulez and Velana Omani in his pocket. You might want to make a little trip to the Dren plantation before talking to me. To them. And then is Yingling Half Troll. Yingling Half Troll is a foreigner like me, but he simply doesn't understand the Dunmer like I do. If you were to dispose of him, uh, the other counselors would not be upset. If you kill the rest of us, of course, it's a different story. He lives in Yingling Manor in the St. Olm's Canton. Dren Barrow is a secretive. He lives somewhere in Vivek. Uh, Dren is the head of Kimona Tong, and he lives in a plantation in the Ascadian Isles. We might be able to bribe or trick him. He despises the Emperor, and I've had rumors he wants to make some kind of deal with the Sixth House. Uh, Ulez lives in Ulez Manors near Suran. Take the North Road out, cross the bridge heading west, and look for a manor. And uh, this guy lives on Vivek, just outside of Elmas Island. Take the bridge, turn south, cross, yada yada. So, um, I might have missed it, but it might not be, uh, that big of a deal. Something that you can actually do. Uh, I think it's if you don't have the money. Um, you can cut him a deal and just give him a, a little kiss. And, and he'll, and he'll call it fair. So, as opposed to killing someone because it's the only way, we don't have to kill Yingling Half-Troll. It would just be easier and what's more, a lot more simple for everyone else if we did. But if we want, we can um, play this how we want to play it. He lives in St. Alms, which is Candy Corner here. You know about Dram Barrel? You bring me Seen him in St. Holmes. Out. Two reasons to go to St. Holmes, then. The idea that somebody would secretly be living in this city, the most heavily observed and possibly heavily populated city, is kind of funny. Where was that? St. Dellen. We need St. Holmes, so it's that one. I kind of want to get a new uh, keyboard. That isn't relevant to anything, but um, yeah, you can just stick your head in there. I guess they never thought that you would. So these are named after saints of the tribunal, naturally. And so they have these big ass statues here. All right. St. Holmes Plaza. What say you? Yes. Hortator is shown by consistence. A simple nose of veto. Great house issues use a Hortator. Uh, we've seen this. It's mostly honorary and doesn't cost a house anything. So it um, might not be that bad. Can I... It's a touching story, but if you don't have 200 drakes, you won't get my vote. 2,000, rather. But he's doing business. Got my vote. Once you get everyone votes, talk to Crassius. Um, come on, then. Say something or move on. See, that's the thing about House Lalo. We're loaded. We don't really have to give a shit. Say your word. We can just come in, flash some cash, and get out. Seeing him at the top yes, of St. Alms. Is there something? Let me check my guide one moment. All right. Know where I'm heading. So again, um, we can see that like, whereas the the Redoran all live in one gigantic house altogether. 
Here we go. Haunted Manor, and you can see this JPEG of a spiderweb to show that it's been abandoned. And another. Ooh, cool. Jody, Nurens. Some more luck. Crap, what was I just talking? Oh yeah, so House Lalu, so House Tilvani are all very apart from each other because they cannot trust them worth a damn. Um, whereas House Redoran is all right up in there. You know, in one giant house together. And then Halalu is mostly in one city, sometimes in the same area, but... Not really. He's my boss. You want business? Talk to Dram. You got it. I take precautions to ensure that I'm not found easily. I see you'll have to take more precautions. But what can I do for you? Hey, I need to be Hortator. You found me, and that means you're resourceful. I'll vote for you as Hortator, but my vote alone means nothing. Yingling is a fool. You may bribe or kill him. Crassius Curio is a man of passion and can be manipulated. Melandra and Nevana are Ores Dren's creatures, and they will do nothing without his approval. Wealth beyond measure. So, Dren is the next target. I mean, I want to I want to say next Mark, but that feels uh feels a little sinister to say. All right, just looking over guy. So, it is possible for us to just go to Dren Plantation and slaughter the poor guy. I don't think I will be doing that. Because, to be perfectly frank with you, I have solved a lot of problems by just icing the fuckers. Here we go. Swiftly swim, go! Uh, yes, I have solved a great deal of problems just by, uh, murder. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Let's see if I have anything else. Nope. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, you know, I've always enjoyed it. It's a valid way to play the game. Just icing a guy. And because the other two are in his pocket and we're going to need them, we're going to need to do something about him first. So, because he's in charge of the Tong, we can actually join the Tong and ascend the ranks. And that can go a couple of ways. We can kill him and take his job because this is Morrowind. I started talking about this a couple of hours ago, um, several episodes ago when we were doing with the Telvanni, actually. But um, the Elder Scrolls started as a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Yeah, seriously, it was a Dungeons and Dragons campaign that Todd Howard and the other authors played in. Um, and so a lot of the things are obviously very different from D&D. For example, dwarves are taller than the average human. Orcs are a variety of elf, etc., etc. Um, but there's a lot more than just that. Um, but originally, a lot of the Elder Scrolls was built as like D and D ready, you know. Made so that, you know, you could just drop in any D&D character and you would play. And the Drow, the Dark Elves in D&D, all have a manner of promotion that requires you to kill your boss. And everyone below him moves up by one because he's dead. Oh, I think I see some free experience points down there. From the depths of outer space I come. Ready to run riot on you, you poor ponytailed fuck. Speak, traveler. Go in. 
Got one last slur in before he died. Anyway, so, um... Something about the Elder Scrolls is that it's not really very D&D-like anymore, but the fact that the Dark Elves use murder to solve a lot, a lot of their problems is very, very Dungeons and Dragons. May I help you? The Skating Isles is just this little mess of things right next to Vivek. Uh, and Ren Plantation. So, um, as I mentioned, he's uh, in charge of the Kimona Tong. And so you can get promoted in the Tong. You can join that quest beforehand. And there are a couple ways that it can go. You can either get on good enough of his side that he's like, Hey, yeah, sure. Cool. We're, we're already friends, so you know what? Go ahead. Be Hortator. You, you've got my vote. I, I, I want you to be Hortator. Say what you want or go away. You want something? Show me where Orvis Dren is. He's not likely to want to see you. Well. We'll just see about that, won't we? Man, shirtless, but with a Daedric shield. Like, Die, you know that that guy is like tactically naked if he's just got that. So we've got this key in his pocket. Why don't we take a look and see where it goes? Do I have any more lock splitter? I do. Up. Oh. Well, that's lame. All right, guess you're dying. You got a key on you, dude. Ah, interesting. Using my technique against me. I said that I should do this without murdering him, but you know what? I should do this without murdering in general. Will you kill me if I eat take this? I didn't want it anyway. someone else to bother. Why do you want to be uh, Hortator of Lalu? You in Do you want peace? Peace the grave since we had the tribunal. Dagothers made me a better offer. There is no escape. Yo, what's that spear actually? Oh, it's an ebony spear though. Oh, I said I wasn't going to murder. I don't know. Yo, Daedric gear? Ebony and Enderil stuff? You're going to be in big trouble if they find out you have this. That's here. What are you wearing? Orcish? Yeah. Look, he attacked me and I just defended myself. No one could possibly get mad at me for that. Hey man, what's up? Killed your boss, no big deal. I have you. So, Dren's note. Who is hitting me? God, it's gonna take so long for him to whittle through all my armor. Come on. Oh, 
for God's sake, unparalyze me. Anyway, the note in his basement says that he wants to betray everyone, and you can show it to people, and they'll be like, oh shit, we shouldn't listen to him. Stop fucking hitting me. Jesus Christ. Have mercy. Let's take a look at this. Brandis and Nava, you served me well. My brother has been trying to stop our business. We've lost over half our shipments. The Duke may be my brother, but if he keeps interfering, he must be killed. I will be next in line and consolidate my power before the Red Urns can come up with a candidate. I'm telling you this so you know the risks you'll be taking. If you're unwilling, I will accept your word of honor not to speak of our business, but if you stay, I will reward you. So yeah, if you find it, you can just say, hey, fuck you, I've got your number. And then, you know, tough teats, man. You've got a signed note from him that says, I'm going to betray my brother. And we're, by the way, already friends with his brother. Um, I don't think we can do anything about it. Like, I don't think that there's a thing where we can show him... No wonder I kept getting paralyzed. They were switching their things on me. Lagiat, huh? Where's the alms if you can save me then? Back? Yeah, well. Let's undo that. Let's leave that there. That's good, I'm making good time. Yada yada, Dagother. Is there something I can do for you? All right, you're all seeing this. He's hitting me first, yeah? Die, Fetcher. All right. That little problem took care of itself. And I couldn't be happier. Head north to Balmora, hawk some gear, and I'll be back. All right, we're back. So a brief check of the wiki shows that you can actually navigate his dialogue tree and get better off than you would have um, best from here. Okay. Uh, you can get. You can actually navigate his dialogue tree in such a way that he will just be like, yeah, sure. Um, it requires his disposition to be a little higher, among other things, but you know what? That's fine. How much money do I got? I've 
because of all of the things that I've done, I've ended up with more money than I started with this episode. And that's after bribing a bunch of people. You know, I could even just kill Yingling Half Troll and get my money back. Alright. Somebody's gonna start talking to me. Raya will be very put out. Is this the place where I killed everyone? I don't know you. What do you want? Well, you're about to name me, um... Ah. Any right, you're not now. the person. Didn't look at your name. You're about to tell me where that person who will name me Hortator is. Outlander. Of course it's What do right. you want? Come all this way and spare a few questions. You want to be Hortator? I think that's a very good idea. You'll be a Hortator. A special Hortator. Is that okay? Do I need to say anything official? Uh, here, how about, in the name of House Lalu, I hereby say you're a Hortator of this house. House Lalu. I hope that's right. Once all the councilors agree, make sure you see Crassius Curio. She seemed very nervous when I asked her to confirm me. But she immediately agreed and seemed anxious to please me. Maybe because I killed her boss. All right, then next we're heading from here elsewhere. Right, let's see where I'm going. Just talk to Ulis. Gotta head east of Vivac. Let's see if we can't just get a little warp going. Perfect. Now she's on her own little thing east of St. Arms. It says east, right? East of Vivek St. Arms. So yeah, I'm at the point of the game where only the final bosses could probably even begin to harm me. I say final bosses plural because um, this game itself has a final boss. Um, but also there is uh, the final boss of both DLCs. So there are three bosses, big bosses in this game. Uh, and they're probably the only people that could even hurt me to be, like, at all. The only people that can damage me worth a damn is uh, people who can use my own stupid tactic against me. Alright, so I've put away my blunt weapon. Because um, it's getting up there pretty high. Keeping gold brand on me because, damn, it's good. And I'm going to start working on spear to go along with my axe training. I've had the fucking O'Reilly's Auto Parts song stuck in my head for days now. I don't know what happened. I don't even know if there's an O'Reilly's where I live right now. I think it's a local thing to where I used to live. So one wonders, how is it stuck in my head? And I answer, I don't fucking know. It's literally just like, oh, 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 O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Notice this manor appears quite remarkably similar. Where's your boss? Masera. They're around here somewhere. Oh, so I mentioned this I'm a bit ago. I fixed those hard-boiled eggs that I kind of screwed watch. up. And now I've just been letting them stay in soy sauce just to turn into some tasty, tasty soy eggs. Excuse me. Uh, yes, Glenda Pitchman. I've just heard of Orbis's Dren's unfortunate death. As for your request to be named Hortito, I believe there'll be no further delays. You have my vote, and I'm sure you'll be able to persuade the others as well. Once they all agree, talk to Crassius, and he'll give you the belt. There we go. You always just gotta open the books just to make sure. Is there something you need?
All right, cool. So yeah, some people think that Crassius Curio is a creepy guy. I agree. I just happen to think that he's awesome as well. Lalu Plaza. Where is that again? It's all the way over there. Okay. Actually, let's get some sip going. You know, Nerevar is technically a saint. And then after all of the um, shenanigans of the tribunal go down, and the real tribunal is reinstated as the proper religion in Morrowind, um, Red Run Plaza. But yeah, after they're reinstated, um, the Daedric Tribunal, the real one, um, Vivek, Almalexia, and so the cell are considered saints by the new uh, religion. Because, hey, you know what? They did do some religiously important things, and they did change Morrowind. Not for the better. But boy, they changed it. You know, sometimes you just accidentally... One more. Sometimes you accidentally fuck around with your friends, assassinate your most trusted companion, um... Capitalize on the genocide of the Dwemer and uh, establish a theocracy where uh, your type of slavery and racism is still legal. As long as it benefits you, right? See, I don't think I even buy or sell it from, from these guys. But if you have lots of money, it's, uh, it can be pretty good to get in with how Slalu, if you want to make money. Curio Man. Where is that slave? I'm so glad to see you again. My troop is coming together nicely, sweet bits. What was that about? You want something, friend? Um. Oh, yeah, there's this whole thing for the stain. Right? All they agree? Splendid. I'm so happy for you. What an honor. But no more than you deserve, Pumpkin. And now I have a little treat for you. It's a belt given to the Hortator of House Slalu. Just snug around that supple little waist of yours. Now I know you have important things to do, but don't be a stranger. Don't neglect poor, lonely Uncle Crassius, you devoted admirer. Wait, is in here? Oh, he doesn't like it. Oh, well. Can't sleep in someone else's bed. I think that's my bed, sir. You'll find. So yeah, that's uh, Uncle Crassius' part in the story. Bring the Hortator. Belt of the Hortator. It gives us more mana. So yeah, wow. We're um wealth beyond measure. We're pretty stacked. All right, I have fulfilled the fourth trial. Wow. I'm almost at a loss. What do we do? I mean. I know what we fucking do, but... <laughs> Alright. Um, we're only 40 minutes in. Let's keep going for a little. Where am I going? Temple Canton in Vivek. Right. What's up, fool?
Who am I looking for? Okay. Danso and Jules. And Tholer Sarioni. What do you think of our city, Outlander? It's great. Is there something I can do for you? Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Hmm. Oh, that has a value on it. That's funny. And this one? The Lusarioni. All right. Assertions are in direct contribution. You couldn't possibly be the reincarnation. Uh, you're part of the Blades. Credible as they are, and as bullshit as they are, uh, we should talk to you. Come find me. Watch face the high fane. All right. Is there something you need? Yes. Of course, this is just like hollow through here. What's this ahead of me? Oh, that's still the temple. Of course. Boy, oh boy. 100 gold. <laughs> the Palace of Vivek, huh? I wonder. It is unlikely I will be able to get in there without the key. But that is likely the intent. Give me a moment. All right. I cannot find this NPC, and she is supposed to be, like, right here. Quickly, did you want to meet the Arch Cannon? Okay, I'm recording it. Just want to make sure. The Arch Cannon's in his private quarters and wishes to speak with you. I'm to warn you, avoid confrontations with the Ordinators. The Arch Cannon has spoken with the uh, High Fane Ordinators, but if you are a wanted criminal, they may try to arrest you. If the blood of the faithful servants of the Temple is speared, it will make a reconciliation more difficult. Private quarters in the southern half, the East Chapel, High Fang. Right, yeah. So she's supposed to be like right around here somewhere. And like I waited for a day or so. I don't know where she is. Well, specifically, Is I waited for night to roll over today. Is there something you need? I need more dead ordinators is what I need. <laughs> oh, yo. Yeah, I think she's just supposed to be right around here somewhere. Hi, Fane. Talk to me. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? I took my dumb helmet off and tried talking to this guy. We know your plan, Outlander. You know your plan to meet the Arch Cannon in his private corridors. We'll watch you carefully. Don't break the law or we'll make swift action. Yes, Outlander. 
What do you want? Faithful and justice, walk on. Can I get in there? This is the thing where I need to be... One more moment. All right, so here's what you actually have to do. To come up here. And get to the Hall of Wisdom. Just like we did with Maramilo's quarters, if you recall. Uh, and because this place is so fucking confusing, I got lost in here a little. I think that's the right. That's High Fane, that's Hall of Justice. Vivek Library, Canton Offices, Temple, Canton Office. Uh, that might be it. And also, yeah, I unlocked this door with cheats because I wanted to make sure that I was doing this right. But anyway, we can now speak to Tholer Saryoni. Thank you for coming. You know the doctrine on the Nervarine, but perhaps it's time to change the doctrine. Omlexia was the wife of Lord Nervar and the consort of Lord Vivek. At once brave and honorable and coving and devious, Vivek is a combination of the virtues of flamboyant adventurer and prudent statesman. So the Sills, the mightiest wizard, the most counsel, wise counsel of the first council. So you can kind of see how um, they, they're like, oh yeah, this is what Amalexia was. Vivek. <laughs> and so the Sills there too. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. Temple's Doctrine. The temple must protect the people from false doctrines and your association with imperial intelligence makes your motivations and uh, integrity suspect. But you have been chosen Hortator and Nerevarine by the Dunmer people. And we have reached a crisis with Dagoth Ur. We can no longer defend the people against the awakened Sixth House. You and your prophecies may represent our last hope. Our situation is desperate, but I would rather hear uh, have you hear the details of a situation and the circumstances leading up to the situation from Lord Vivek himself. He is asked to see you. Would you agree to a private meeting with him and hear in person what he has to say? I will meet with Vivek. Good. Here are two keys. One of the private back entrance to my quarters, the other to Lord Vivek's palace. I regret that at present the ordinators are not completely under my control. So for now, I'll ask you to avoid making conversation with him. Vivek is expecting you. He's remarkably patient, but perhaps it would be better not to keep him waiting. Archcanon Saryoni has suggested that the temple's policy concerning the Nereverine might change and has arranged for a private meeting with Lord Vivek. He gave me two keys, the private back entrance and the entrance to Lord Vivek's palace. He says the ordinator's not under his control. Same shit. So, it's come to this. Do you have something to say, Outland? The man god, the greatest liar in the Elder Scrolls. We come now to his temple to meet with him. Next episode. Um. Because you know what? This is some finale shit. I want to I wanna start this on its own episode. So. I am Hortator and the Reverine of every single thing. I am the true dreamer. I'm the hero and I am going to set Dagoth Ur to rest. So. I'm an Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.